Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Like Butter, and welcome to episode 9 of my Real Talk with Like Butter series. Basically what this series is about, if you haven't been following with my videos or you're a new subscriber, I basically don't talk about the gameplay, but I show some Gears of War 3 gameplay just for you guys to stay entertained while you listen to me talk. And I talk about a real life situation and something I maybe have gone through or um, something I've seen someone go, go through and I talk about it and uh, hopefully you guys can take something from this whether you've gone through it or are dealing with things such as what I'm talking about or you may down the road so it's it's nice to kinda learn early so what I'm gonna be talking about in this episode is split parents now I know this is a really touchy subject but I feel like that's the whole reason for this series anyways now Having split parents can be really, really, really hard on a child, especially. Um, you know, breakups aren't easy, but they are. They do happen. They're natural, and it really sucks when it happens after, you know, a few kids are born or something like that. Because then you have to deal with the, uh, you know, having to go to mom's house this weekend, dad's house this weekend, especially if they don't get along. And uh, it can be really difficult. Now, I am um, very fortunate because I came from a pretty good Italian family at that, uh, you know, really didn't believe in divorce and all, all that stuff. So, um, my parents are still together. They, we all live together and stuff, even though, you know, every, all parents fight here and there, uh, you know, argue, stuff like that. So, uh, but it's got to be really tough to you know not have your parents be together and I'm gonna talk about this in this episode because I know there is a lot of people out there um, the percentage is actually extremely high for divorce rate um, after having a kid and uh, I don't know it's gotten higher and higher um, from what I can see so I, I have a lot of friends on Xbox and a lot of friends um, have this problem so I'm gonna talk about it and I actually have a situation where I kinda live through that I can talk about with you guys so uh, like I said, I come from a good family, you know, um, and they are together. But what I did have is I had an ex-girlfriend about two years ago. Um, we were extremely close. We were together for about two years. And, um, um, like, she would live through this situation. And since I was pretty much, we were pretty much, like, not married, but, like, I would pretty much stay down there. Uh, for an entire weekend and sometimes weeks at a time if I was on vacation so it was pretty much like my second family you know and uh, so I pretty much lived through the feeling of you know not having a father figure there and basically her their parents broke up like I wanna say uh, four or five years ago I don't really know what it was um, maybe a little longer than that but she has a little brother and a little sister and um, I, I felt especially bad for the little sister because even though she understands what's going on, I think she was nine or uh, nine years old, but it happened when she was like four or five. Um, even though she knows what's going on, you you really don't know what's going on at the same time. And uh, I'm gonna tell you guys what to do in these kind of situations if this happens. Um, so basically, what happened is they broke up. Um, I don't remember the reason. And then uh, her dad actually moved to Ohio, and they completely were, like, apart. She got to see her dad, like, once every, I want to say, like, once every two months or something. It wasn't really extreme, and uh, it was just really tough on her because it was hard to ha not have a father figure there and to know that your mom is dating someone else and that your dad is dating someone else, you know, because you want your parents to be together. It's just natural. And um, th the thing that I feel like hurt the most is that, like, even though they wanted them to be together, they knew, like, she knew that they weren't happy together. So at the same time, you want your parents to be happy, you know? Um, so it's a really tough situation. But what you guys got to remember is that whether they're split or together or, you know, dating other people, they still are your parents. You know, never think that that uh you know they care about their boyfriend or like your stepmom or whatever more because that is not that's not the case whatsoever you can never love someone more than your own child it's just it's just you know human nature you know and uh it's just you got to realize sometimes they put more time into like parents and stuff cuz i know like my ex-girlfriend uh she thought that her mom cared about her boyfriend more than her because you know he she's doing everything for him and stuff 
And the reason is not that she cares more about him. It's just that, you know, when it's a new relationship and stuff, you do things for people. Um, and that's just, you know, that's just how it is. And it's how it's pretty much always been. But, you know, I really wish parents would show their kids more support because sometimes parents don't even understand uh, what, what kids go through when they have split parents and parents who aren't together and uh, you know sometimes the kids keep it in and what I noticed is actually really funny because this is over an Xbox gameplay because that's what I do I make gaming videos um, what's actually crazy is I know a lot of people actually go to Xbox as like a gateway or like um, kinda like a way of getting away from your problems and you know there's nothing wrong with that as long as you don't abuse it and use it as an excuse to play Xbox all the time but it is a good way to get on play with some friends have fun and sometimes forget about the bad things that are happening in your you know real life situations but the advice that I can give you guys is just to know that whatever happens between your parents although you want to try to keep them together it's completely out of your hands just know that they love you very much and that um, you know, you just gotta kinda, I know it sounds weird, but support them in whatever they do. Because if they were there your entire life supporting you, um, even though they make decisions that you maybe don't agree with, you have to support their decisions, guys, you know? And just spend as much time with both of them as you can. And, you know, like I said, if it's not gonna work out, at least know that you were the best kid, um, the best child to them that you could be. Whether you're... you're 14 or whether you're you know 30 whatever it may be and um, you know it's it's a really touchy subject and I just wish you know people would put more time and uh, effort into their relationships before having kids and stuff because it kind of hurts um, it kind of hurts the kids and sometimes I know people are scarred forever like my ex-girlfriend's little sister um, not having a father figure around is like really weird for her um, so like she she's like a brat like it's hard to say but she's like really really like spoiled and uh, not spoiled as in gets a lot of presents and stuff because they aren't like the wealthiest family like they don't not gonna sit there and buy her everything she wants but um, like it's tough because she like always wanted to come out with us she always wanted me to play with her she and I did whatever I could I was almost like a father figure for her and sometimes uh, people get so upset that they actually start making bad decisions by like maybe getting into drugs and stuff like that because you feel like you know your parents are together and you're so upset that you just feel like you have to do things like that to make yourself happy and stuff and don't make bad decisions guys remember you're your own person so don't let your um, parents breaking up kind of influence what you do with your life stay on track and finish the goals that you want to do don't make bad bad decisions just because of what bad decisions your parents made and that's another thing I want to tell you guys about if you have siblings if you have anybody in your family remember that they're going through the same thing so stay close with them and uh, you know maybe that staying close to the rest of your family will help you get over this but I'm gonna do an episode about like what happens when a family member dies and stuff and like I said it's gonna get into really touchy subjects but um, I really do think it's a good thing for you guys to talk about and to see that you're not the only one going through this situation. So I want you guys to leave me your stories in the comment section below. Trust me, you're not alone. A lot of people have this problem. And uh, maybe I can learn something from you guys. Uh, even though I probably won't go through this situation, um, I might have friends who will that I might have to help them with. So I want to hear your situations and what you guys think. I may do a part two episode for this, but let me know if you guys want that. I might. I may do um, the topic. some of the topics I already did. And just go into more detail or keep going. But this video is wrapping up. But I want to thank you so much for joining me on my Real Talk episode 9. Um, and if you enjoyed the video or it touched you, please leave me a like and leave me some feedback. Uh, it's always good to know that you guys are appreciating my videos or you're not appreciating my videos. So my name's Like Butter, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy, guys.